Hello, my loves. Welcome to your next 72. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Guys, I am so sorry I got a little backed up. I just wasn't towards the end of December. I got sick. Or I guess cyanitis. I don't know what it was, but I've been giving myself a nice boost of like, uh, you know, the airborne and everything with the vitamin C. So I'm feeling a lot better. I do apologize, guys, for whoever was waiting for this. Um, I just want to let you guys know, I know this is going to say from January 6th to the 8th, um, but this is, you know, meant for for whenever you're called to watch this. Um, the dates that I put on the actual videos are just for my records really, just to know that I did Taurus for the beginning of the week and the end of the week, okay? So I just wanted to make that clear. Whenever you're called to watch this reading, that's when you, it could be a year from now, this could have already happened or it could be happening right now, okay? Um, all right, guys, so we're gonna do a quick shuffle here on camera. We're gonna go over uh, a couple really fast announcements, your pre-shuffle message, and then we're gonna get into the reading, okay? Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what messages do we have today for my Taurus, please? Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance can we get today for my Taurus? What love messages do my Taurus need to hear, please? Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what love messages do my Taurus need to hear today, please, Spirit? What clarity and guidance can we get from my Taurus regarding love, please, Spirit? Okay, Taurus, if you're currently a subscriber, welcome back. And if you have not yet subscribed, please be sure to click that red subscribe button on the bottom right-hand corner underneath this reading. I do choose multiple subscribers every month for free readings. I give away tarot cards and I give away oracle cards. If you're currently a subscriber and you did not see the announcement for the winners for the month of January, it'll be listed in the description box below. Um, the link will be, you know, uh, attached down there. So just, you know, check Check it out and see if you've won anything. Um, I do announce the winners on the first of every month. It's its own video. Okay, so click that notification bell so you know when that video posts. And also when all my other readings post, okay? Um, I am taking personal readings, guys. You can go right to my website, www.thetaroflight.com. It is listed in the description box below. Um, you can book your reading right from the website. I do have over 100 tarot decks and oracle cards. They are also all listed on my website with links to purchase if you're interested. Today, we're going to be using the Tarot of the Cloisters. It is such an adorable deck. It's a little finicky when it comes down to shuffling but it's really an adorable deck um the whispers of healing we have the quantum oracle the romance angels and the moonology oracle okay okay guys so let's go ahead and let's get started on um your pre-shuffle message so taurus the message that i picked up for you guys now keep in mind that this can be your energy this could be your person's energy um this could be your love interest this is intended to be a love reading but it could be a family member, it could be your child, it could be your person, um, it could be anybody. It could even be a co-worker, okay? Um, so the energy that I was picking up here at Taurus is that someone here has been giving a lot, a lot to a situation. It could be money, it could be time, it could be attention, it could be whatever, and you're just done. <laughs> Who are you done, Taurus? Um, you have just literally had enough. You have had enough. Um, you know, at one point, I feel that, you know, you, you kept trying to save this situation, thinking that if you put more into it and put more into it and put more into it, um, that eventually it would get better. But now you're just not seeing, um, you're not, you know, when we start working on something, and we, and we invest into it and we put our money or time or attention or our faith into something. It's because we see an outcome, right? You know what I'm saying? If we're dating somebody, um, you know, and we're taking them out or doing this or doing that and making plans, it's because we see an overall outcome. This is our person. This is the person I'm going to spend the rest of my life with, right? Even your children, you know, if you invest in them, you know, going to college or if you're taking care of them, it's because you see a future for them. You want a future for them, right? Um, and just like with anything else, family members or whatever the case may be, you know, if you have a brother or a sister who is just like always down and out and, you know, you keep helping them out, it's because you, you feel that, you know, you have faith that one day they will get on their feet and they will get their shit together, right? You know, so... 
what I'm seeing here though, Taurus, is that either you or, you know, this person, because it can be vice versa, is just not seeing the outcome anymore. Someone here is not seeing that, that, uh, the victory. They're, they're not seeing, you know, they're, 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 someone here is just tired of putting in because they're not seeing that outcome anymore. They, they've lost faith. They've given up the hope. Okay. Um, so now the time has come. We have the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy there. So the time has come where you are pulling back. And I feel that by you doing so, that by you doing so, um, or whoever is doing this, whoever's pulling back, whoever's not giving to the situation anymore is doing the right thing. Because this is going to cause the other person to become more stable, more grounded, more responsible, and more independent. So if this is, you know, a love, Virgo, uh, Virgo, some of you could be dealing with a Virgo, um, Taurus, this could be you, you understand? So if you're, if you're, you know, been living in this kind of world, and listen, none of us are perfect, you know, I mean, I'm a realist, you're not going to come on here, you know, it's your reading, and I'm going to read it on your end, but it could be you, it could be you that you're just kind of living off of your person, or not working, or just not doing the right thing with your life, and whoever's giving to you is getting fed up. It could be you. Just going to be real. Okay. It's the way it is. Uh, you know, we all have ups and downs in life. I'm not judging anybody, but it, it could be you. But whoever's pulling back from doing this, you guys are doing the right thing because this person needs to grow. So this could be your children. It could be your love interest. It could be family. It could it be, it could be a sister or a brother that's constantly like asking you for money and asking you for shit. Whatever it is, whoever's giving in this situation is just done. Be bold and make the first move. And I feel, Taurus, that that is what you're doing. You're, you're, you're doing something that maybe you have never done before, like something drastic. And you're making that first move to change the situation because you're seeing that it's just literally not going anywhere. Like, you know, if, if you keep giving and giving and giving, this person is never going to learn to do for themselves. I have a piece of hair that's just climbing all over me. It's time to take action. See, you're making that first move and you're taking action. So let me give you an example. For those of you... For those of you, let's just say, let's just say this is a situation with your children, okay? For those of you who've been giving, 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 you've come to the realization that you cannot give to this anymore because your child needs to grow up. And if it's your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, your wife, if they've been too reliant on you, you're holding back because a relationship should be at 50-50, at least 80-20. I mean, even if one person shares a little bit more in the connection, okay, but... It's too much. It's like you're just constantly giving and getting nothing in return or you're not seeing any improvement in the situation. You understand? Answers within. Answers within. So, Taurus, you may have sat back and really asked yourself, and see there's a child on that picture. So for quite a few of you, this could be your, your uh, children. Sincere relationships. So this is someone that you're very close to. And there is love here. This isn't like you falling out of love or that you're separating your feelings or emotionally disconnecting. This is you. This is tough love. That's what this is, Taurus. Whatever this is, this is tough love. So Taurus, we have you on this side, your person on this side. Feel free to flip it, twist it, reverse it. It can 100% be vice versa. Take what resonates, leave the rest, okay? So let's start with you here. Finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So in a love context, um, this is, uh, again, this could be a soulmate. This is someone that you love very much. This could be, you know, a very close soul tie, someone very close to you and finances and career, putting in too much work or putting in too much money. Something is a factor here. Work, money, investing in something, it's a factor. All right. Or somebody could just be working on calling in their soulmate. Somebody can be working on calling in their person. So let's see here. We have the seven of wands. We have the three of cups. We have the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, the Justice card, Libra energy, and the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so with finances and career, what I'm saying, seeing here is with the Seven of Wands and the Three of Cups, this is about overcoming challenges, the Seven of Wands, overcoming challenges, trying to solve problems, trying to solve these issues. And that Three of Cups talks about wanting to celebrate Do I want to say victory? No. Okay. The three of cups talks about an announcement. 
having a baby, getting engaged, announcing that something is coming to an, a completion, announcing I'm going to graduate, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Do you understand? So whatever challenges you guys are trying to, you know, overcome whatever whatever you've been working towards or investing in you want to be able to have this three of cups moment my child made it my person graduated school like let's just say some of you are in a relationship where you're going to school or your person is going to school and they're struggling in school and you're struggling because you're supporting everything and you're giving 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 you want to get to that point where this person you know graduates school or graduates whatever but I feel that the problem here is is that it's becoming challenging because maybe let's say the person and this is just examples guys okay but let's just say the person that's going to school they're just screwing around or screwing off and really not paying attention to school yet at the same time you're supporting the household you're you're paying for their schooling you're really doing everything you're supposed to do and this person is just screwing around and not really focusing on school you see, do you understand the kind of concept I'm getting at here? You, you're you willing to put in the fight. You're willing to put in the work. You're willing to overcome the challenges, but you want to also want to celebrate at the end. You want to say, okay, listen, we worked really hard towards this. I'm investing in this, but you know, at least now we have success and you know, let's see what happens now. So we have calling in your soulmate, the King of Swords and the Justice card. So the calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and and um, visualizations help bring you together. Let's focus on the word visualizations. Remember what I said in the in the pre-shuffle? How you visualize something, you're you're manifesting something, you're praying for something, okay, for this person that you love, or for them to come in, or for them. And what I'm seeing here is with the King of Swords and the Justice card, tough love, baby. Okay, tough love. The King of Swords is someone with a strategy, someone that is not focusing on their emotion or how they feel, even though it hurts them to say no to something, they are using their mind and saying, listen, I have to do this because if I don't do this, you know, this person is never going to learn or they're never going to get to this three of cups moment. So that's tough love. You're doing the right thing, but you may have to do it in a harsh way, but you're doing the right thing. Now, with the Two of Pentacles, this is telling me that your your emotions are very up and down about this because it does hurt you, Taurus. You know, it hurts you to say no. It hurts you to take from this person that you love. Now, Taurus, if it's you that's in this position that's being irresponsible, let's just say, it does hurt your person. You know what I'm saying? It hurts your person to take from you, but it's for the greater good. It's for the greater good. So for the Oracle here, we have new beginnings and we have true love. Okay? See... A new start is happening here. See, be bold and make the first room move and it's time to take action. A new beginning is happening here. There's a new way that shit is going down, okay? And it's it's a new start, but you're doing this from a place of love. You're doing it because you love this person or this person is doing it because they love you and they want the best for you, all right? Or vice versa, you want the best for them, Taurus. Spirit, why is the Seven of Wands here? Please tell me about the Seven of Wands. Wow, look at the... Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so we got the Seven of Wands and the Ten of Cups. So this could be your husband. It could be your wife. It could be your children. It could be a family member, okay? The point here is, is that the challenge, a ten is completion, guys. And with the Seven of Wands there, this is you overcoming challenges to reach this completion. So let's just say it's you and your partner. You guys are overcoming challenges because, you know, let's say you want this person to get a good career or you want them to find a job or... Whatever the case may be, you want this to reach completion so that you guys could have your happily ever after. If it's your children, you're sitting there, you're going with them through all these challenges because you want them to have a good career, a home, a husband, a wife, children, you know, blah, 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 and so on. You want the best for them, all right? So you're going through this, these challenges with this person for that three of cups moment to say, ah, victory, you graduated, you did it, you got the job, you did this, whatever, you know, whatever it may be. Why is the three of cups here, please, spirit? King of cups in the reverse. So the king of cups in the reverse with the three of cups, someone here may be doing a lot of drinking. Someone here may be getting, you know, high possibly or celebrating too much. Or like I said, someone here is, excuse my language, but fucking off. Okay, so you're over here overcoming challenges for the greater good for this person. And they are just in la la land. That's not cool. It's not cool. You see there? You're, you're really stressed out about this. Why is the King of Swords here, please, Spirit? A decision had to be made. 
a decision had to be made and you had to go into king of swords here and withdraw you have to put yourself first taurus you have to um what i'm actually getting here because we've got these two cards so i want you to look at this it's either you show that tough love or you give them whatever they want because they're spoiled you understand? And believe me, a, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a husband, and wife can can be spoiled. It's not just kids. It's not whatever. You understand? So someone here is just used to always getting their way, and you're putting your foot down now. You know, that's a decision that you have to make. Why is the justice card here? Yeah. Eight of wands. You're, whatever you're saying, whatever, whatever you're communicating. Hold on, guys. So sorry, guys. I had to take that. Um, but yeah, so whatever you're communicating or whatever, I'm getting phone calls, text messages, whatever you're communicating, whatever this new beginning is going to be here with this new communication, like you laying down the law here, it is correct, okay? It is just and it is right, okay? Now, with the two of pentacles, let's go ahead and clarify this. Spirit, tell me about the two of pentacles, please justice in the reverse justice in the reverse so you know this tough love that you're giving you may feel like this person may feel like it's unfair or you may be like up and down like am i being too harsh am i being too unfair am i being too whatever but spirit is saying no no don't doubt yourself because with the sun card here it's enlightenment it's growth it's recovery it's it's meant for the greater good all right so let's see what we have on your person side. Attraction. You, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully and separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. What I always get from the attraction card is somebody who's got like, kind of like their head in the clouds. Like they live for today and that even though it's nice, even though it's nice to be that way once in a while, it's someone that's really just not too worried about tomorrow. It's someone very laid back. You see them sitting there smelling the roses. It's someone very laid back. Um, you know, everyone else is kind of running around and handling responsibilities and this person is just, you know, enjoying their day, smelling the roses. And, and even though that's nice, it can't always be that way. You know, as adults, we have to worry about tomorrow, worry about our responsibilities. And with separation, this is the reason why you're separating from this person or that this person is se separating from you because of this attitude of nonchalance. Okay, now we have the world here. King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy, the Four of Wands, the devil, Capricorn energy, and we have the five of wands. So what I'm seeing here is underneath attraction, we've got the king of wands and the world. So this attitude, this attitude needs to change. It's got to close out and there needs to be growth here. So the king of wands, even though this is a king, so this can represent somebody a little bit older, okay? Um, again, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy, it could be in the sign or in the chart, I mean, it doesn't have to be only a fire sign. But the King of Wands loves to be the center of attention. The King of Wands loves to um, control the things around them. They like to be pampered. They like to be spoiled. You understand? Um, this is a person who likes to have a lot of fun. Not really the most responsible king, okay? Not really the most re the responsible king. Now, when it comes down to separation with the Four of Wands here, so this could be a husband and a wife. This could be a child. It could be a family member, all right? And with the devil here, selfishness selfishness um you know wanting things your own way being jealous being upset being possessive uh being obsessed with a certain lifestyle and not wanting to let it go and with this five of wands here i'm feeling that this person is going to try to fight to keep things the way they are or there may be a fight that's going to cause separation because of this now for the oracle here we have peace and victim mentality peace and victim mentality. So this person, um, like I said, with attraction and peace, this person is just, what did I say? In the clouds. You know, they're just in peace doing their own thing. And whenever somebody says something to them, like, listen, you need to find a job or listen, you're, you know, you're supposed to be doing schoolwork, but you're not, or listen, you know, they, then they fall into a victim mentality of they're being attacked. They're not looking at, 
what their real actions are and why they why this is happening what they're looking at is they're a victim they play the victim and that's not good either you know that's not good so let's go ahead and clarify this spirit why is the world card here king of wands in the reverse see we have the king of wands here twice now the king of wands in the reverse is a whole nother story the king of wands in the reverse is someone with an explosive temper someone very controlling very spoiled um very possessive very demanding you gotta be careful with that guys king of wands the i think this king of wands should have been in the reverse i don't pull reversals with the cards that i put down but i think spirit was strongly saying that that king should be in the reverse why is the king of wands here yeah, and then we got the world. So look at this. I just want to show you this. So we have the world with the king of wands in the reverse. This behavior needs to end. And then we have the king of wands here again with the world. How cool is that? It's crazy. That's tarot for you. And I feel that this king of wands should have been in the reverse too. This is a very spoiled, this is like having adult tantrums. This is a very spoiled behavior. This is someone very controlling, possibly manipulative. Um, why is the four of wands here, please, spirit? King of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, energy. So I, someone may be very reckless and impulsive in their behavior. Um, or with the Knight of Swords, I'm feeling that uh, somebody may, there may have been a separation and a fight here and this person wants to rush back in. Why is the devil here, please, spirit? Two of Wands in the reverse. This person is choosing this behavior. This person is choosing to act this way. I mean, literally choosing to act this way. Give me one more on the devil, please. The empress. Yeah, see, this person has two choices, guys. This person has two choices. So the first thing I'm getting is that um, we have Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancer, Energy here. So this person has a choice. Either they can choose to stay with this negative behavior or they can have this new beginning and, and you know, start over and try to do the right thing. Um, I'm also getting parents here because the, the, the Empress is a mother. The Empress is a mother. So what I'm seeing is that, you know, if this is child related, if this is related to your children, for some of you, you may have one parent that's toxic and another that's trying to help and help this person with a new beginning. Um, and I'm feeling like the, the, the child may be getting pushed on the mother or... Um, Yeah, that the, the child has a decision to make. That may be for only like one of you, okay? Um, now with the king of wands, uh, the, the five of wands here, the five of wands represents fighting, strife. Spirit, tell me about this five of wands. Page of swords in the reverse. Someone here is lying or they're not acknowledging the truth. They're not acknowledging the truth. They're not acknowledging this toxic behavior. They just don't want to hear it. They just don't want to hear it. So the challenge here, we have the Three of Pentacles. The challenge here, again, the Three of Pentacles talks about that energy that I was talking about in the, um, the pre-shuffle. It's about investing in something and wanting to reap success from it, wanting to, to put work into something that's actually going to uh, come to fruition, okay? And the challenge here is the High Priestess. Cancer, Pisces, energy. The challenge here is that someone here may keep um, praying or someone here just doesn't have vision. They're not soul searching. Um, the challenge here could be secrets. The challenge here could be... Uh, another thing I have to say, this again may resonate with one of you, but the high priestess is a nun, very spiritual card. And with the devil here, someone here may be going through something with spiritual warfare. There may be, um, you know, demonic attack on their life, or it could be, you know, black magic on their life. And what's crossing the situation, why this person isn't able to move forward and succeed in life and what they're doing could be that they don't have spirituality. And <coughs> I'm joking as I said that, okay? It's like something just went to grab my throat. So 
Um, it could be that this person doesn't know how to fight back spiritually. That may be for one or two of you, okay? So the reason, if there's blockages in your life, Taurus, or if there's blockages in this person's life, it could be, um, you know, a, a black magic. It could be it could be something very evil around their life, and this person doesn't have the spirituality to fight that. Um, that's just one option. Um, or, you know, what's crossing the situation is that this person isn't communicating because the high priestess doesn't communicate. So this person isn't saying or, or isn't speaking people cannot communicate to this person like you cannot say listen this is wrong and you're not going to be successful if you do this because this person just shuts you out and doesn't want to hear it and that's you know you can't grow with something like that you can't move forward with that the outcome here is going to be the hanged man and the two of swords okay the hanged man you've been waiting a long time to make this decision and now it's getting made and now it's getting made. So we have the King of Pentacles and the Magician. Virgo, Gemini energy here. The Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy here. You see, whatever you give that coin to, whatever you're moving for this person, there's movement here. So you're doing for this person. But whatever you do for this person, whatever you're, you want this person to manifest, you want them to grow, you want them to be successful, you want them to be able to do things for themselves. And it's just not happening. So here we have you taking this first action, this, you know, making the first move, taking actions, and the answers are coming from within. This is your, this is divinely guided. This is an angel that's whispering this to you. This is literally your guides your 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 angels telling you that this is what has to be done okay all right taurus i hope you enjoyed um please be sure to like drop a comment um i always love hearing how these readings resonate don't forget to subscribe to enter a chance to win and um if you need to book me for a personal reading my information is in the description box below take care loves bye